We back, baby. We back. <sighs> I'm back. <laughs> we are finally back and ready for basketball. Yesterday was our media day content day. Something new that they tried out that was actually kind of cool. A little bit of bugs, but we ain't gonna talk about it. But today was the first day of training camp and the big news has already broke that's got a lot of people, including myself, not very pleased. But before we even get to a lot of that, what have I missed? The last thing I remember when it came to the Knicks was Donovan Mitchell was supposed to be a New York Knicks and now he's over there in Cleveland. So while we're talking about where we are right now in training day, the media day yesterday, I also have some catching up to do, okay? So bear with me today. I missed y'all. Let's get back in the swing of things. As you can see, things are a bit different now. No more green screen for the year. We got ourselves a bit of a setup. It's still a work in progress. Everyone say hi, RJ. Hi, RJ. All right, enough of this. Let's get to the video. Run the intro. What's going on, CK Crucial Boy, CK2K? And welcome back to another video. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, do not forget to like this video. People, 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 I have missed you guys. I missed the channel. First and foremost, the real ones that have been coming over and noticed that I've been streaming over on my other channels, the CK channel linked in the description below. I appreciate every single one of y'all. Y'all be coming through, checking up on me like, yo, CK, what a new video coming out. Yo, CK, where you been? And I, basically, I just needed a break. I just needed a, a, a few minutes to recharge. I felt like I was getting too mechanical with the content. It was like, you know, Nick's happened, CK says. Nick's Nick's happened, CK says, but it was more mechanical compared to the comedic, thought out, actual takes I was having. I felt like I was more going with what people were saying rather than giving my opinion on the channel. And although you guys were still really supportive of that, it didn't feel right for me. So I felt like the best thing for me was that, you know, especially with the whole Donovan Mitchell thing and everybody's talking about the same thing. I'm like, you know what? There are plenty of amazing content creators. You go watch my family over on Knicks Fan TV. You can watch anybody clutch NBA, but you try to watch whoever you want to watch. I'm going to take a step back, make sure I'm right for the new season so we can get back to fresh and dope content. So I did. I took a few months off on CK2K. I mean, I didn't take a few months off because I was very busy. I was streaming damn near daily over on the CK channel. If you have not subscribed over there, I need you to subscribe. So if you're, if I'm not here, I'm definitely over there, especially if you are a fan of video games and comedic content reactions or whatever the case may be. I am over there. If that's not where you want to be, you want to see me on Twitch, I'm on Twitch at IMCK. I'm everywhere. I also am doing stuff for New Egg. There's a lot of things that... I, your boy was doing in the meantime but i did want to take a step back and make sure that we retool ck2k and have a great season this year a lot of surprises we're bringing back wednesday night knicks we're probably gonna do a lot more watch alongs this year a lot of fun stuff coming to the ck2k channel this year now that your boy is refreshed and got a whole notebook full of ideas all right so that's out of the way let's talk about training camp and like i said i missed a lot so when you miss a lot of things in the basketball world the best thing for you to do is go to a place where it's non-stop being what wait what where they're talking about it non-stop a place where you need to know anything you think you missed something you go there and you find out everything you need to know mm, twitter you got excited thought i was talking about you no 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 talk about reddit we're gonna go over to the next reddit because i missed a lot of things and i need to catch up and i also want to talk about the more current events that have happened within the last few days with the knicks training camp oh the knicks reddit i have not been over here for a long time like i said anything and everything i'm going to need to know and that i miss is going to be on here so yes the first video back has to be a knicks reddit video we haven't done one for almost half a year so we got to do another one of these so I can hear what you guys have to say and I can respond to some of the things you guys have to say along with everything going on. And right on the top of the page is Mr. Evan Fournier. Yes, as I mentioned earlier, there's been some news that's going around that's got a lot of people upset. It's being reported that Evan Fournier is most likely the front runner to be starting at shooting guard. Oh, I got things I need to say about that. Do I think he should be starting? Absolutely not. We got a guy in Quentin Grimes who I want to groom and turn into a two-way elite player. Whether he is going to be an all-star level or just going to be a Mikel Bridges type guy that is going to be a crucial part of your lineup. It feels like all of these big good teams have that one starter where you're like he's starting 
And I feel like Quentin Grimes is that guy for us. I feel like, you know, he's going to be that guy where you know his role is vital to the starting five. Top Thibodeau was asked about the starting shooting guard spot. He said, with Jalen, with RJ, with Julius, we need shooting at shooting guard. When asked about it, Tom Thibodeau says Evan Fournier is front runner to start at shooting guard entering training camp. Now, to be honest with you, this is not something that we should really panic too much about because, yes, training camp is just starting. We can see what happens throughout preseason. We can see what happens with Quentin Grimes. Ask Emmanuel quickly how that went for him in his rookie season. Like, it's not for sure it's not for certain but going into training camp i mean did we expect anything else from tom thibodeau did we not expect him to start evan fournier no one should be surprised by this statement yes we're not ha a lot of us aren't happy about it but surprised we should not be as well but also that being said he is the front runner doesn't mean that he is the guy he didn't say with th th this situation this is the guy i'm going with from now on no he said with this current situation he is definitely the front runner in my thoughts kind of situation so to me quentin grimes really has to go and prove it he proved it in the summer league now let's see how he does in camp now let's see how he does in preseason i mean hell if he does end up going with california now let's see what he does with the minutes he gets in the first few weeks in the nba season a lot of these players on this knicks team have to prove their worth I am a huge Cam Reddish fan. I believe I am Cam fan. Bam. I'm believing that Cam Reddish is a guy that can be a part of this team. I know a lot of you guys are already mailing him in, which is fine. I get it from what you see on the court and what he did with the Knicks. He's not giving you much. Right now, we're all uh, predicting his game off of hopes and dreams. I understand. But at the same time, his when you have your peers talking about you the way you do and with the game that you got, I believe. And Quentin Grimes is one of those guys who I feel like at every level has shown that he can do what he does on both ends of the court. So I feel like these guys, all these players that we got, especially these young guys, Obi Toppin, after finishing out the year last year the way he did, now going back to a bench role, all of these guys have a lot to prove. RJ Barrett said that best yesterday at Media Day. To not end up where we wanted to last year, I think this year we're coming even more experienced, even more hungry. We have a lot of guys that have something to prove, you know, myself included. I got everything to prove, you know, so. We're, we're really coming with that mindset and uh, definitely think we're going to shock the world. So I feel like uh, with Quentin Grimes, I feel like he's the starter at this position. I feel like everyone should know this. I think Ian Begley was saying that in his little prediction. I think I, I saw a video of Bob, Bobby Marks just, just rattling off names for starters, and he just said Quentin Grimes as if it was a foregone conclusion. We all know what it should be. But what Tom Thibodeau is doing here right now, I understand he's going to go with the vet because we need shooting. But when he sees that, we also are going to need defense. When you got like, Even though Jalen Brunson, I feel like, gets such a bad rap for his defense. He, he is a solid defender. He's not great, but he's solid for his size as, as a defender um, at the point guard position. But I feel like you're going to see that you're going to want that added defense plus shooting. But it's up to Quentin Grimes to make that shot a lot more consistently at the NBA level. Did that summer league. Now let's see what he does um, in the preseason and what he does uh, during camp. D Rose just basically detailed why it all went to shit last season. For everyone's sake, Hope Randall has learned from it. Okay, Derek Rose, what you got, brother? Uh, I'm. I wouldn't say I was the the heart and soul, but uh, I wanted to win. I could say that, and I think what this year is all about is accountability, like being able to not get in your feelings or taking it personal. Personal when somebody's coming over and giving you constructive criticism, and as a man and as a professional, you're supposed to understand that and. Y'all could talk shit back to each other here and there or you get mad, but you leave it on the court after practice or after that game or after that moment so that you don't prolong yourself. Man, oh. Yeah, man. stop playing with Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> stop playing with me, bro. <laughs> I'm cringing a bit right now. <laughs> The reason why I'm cringy, I don't disagree with anything Derrick Rose said. I think Derrick Rose was just spitting facts. Like, that's all true and all factual. But a lot of that kind of was pointed at Julius Randle, no? So for Julius Randle to come in and dab a hole like that? Yeah, stop playing with it. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah, yeah. I like it. Stop playing with me, bro. Yeah, you know. I ain't going to lie to you. 
and I know I'm gonna get hate for this, and I've been saying this before, like on my streams and stuff, when people are asking me about my thoughts on the Knicks and da 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 da. I've been saying this. I know when I come back and make videos, I'm going to get hate for this comment that I'm about to make. But I'm gonna be real. I'm looking forward to a Julius Randle redemption arc. I really think that the way that this team is finally set up with the ball out of Julius Randle's hands. For the majority of, you know, bringing the ball up or running offenses, I think we're going to get a better option with Julius Randle. You know, we've all been saying that Julius Randle is a good two or three option, uh, me leaning on the three option, and I think we finally might have got that wish. I think we might go, I mean, Julius Randle probably still might be run as the one or the two. But I think we're going to consequently see R.J. Barrett be the number one guy. Jalen Brunson, with the way he plays, be that number two, A, and Randall 2B. But the main thing is the ball is going to be out of Julius Randall's hand. And I think we might see a good Julius Randall this year. I know. I, trust me, I still want to trade him because I just really want Obi Toppin to be the guy at the four. I want us to completely embrace the youth movement and play 2022-2023 bas NBA basketball. But I do think we might see a better version of Julius Randle, which might also be good for the trade value. But I'm just saying. That being said, this clip right here where he comes in dapping up Derrick Rose after Derrick Rose is literally talking about you is cringe. All right, I think I've seen enough. Oh, no, I've definitely seen enough. Taj Gibson in a Wizards jersey? Yuck. I don't like it i've seen enough that's enough for nick's reddit for me today if you haven't already make sure you subscribe channel hit the notification bell do not forget to like this video make sure you go check out the other channel ck it is right there in the link in the description i stream there every night damn near if i don't stream there on the nights because i'm doing something else but every night we are streaming we're streaming tonight we're gonna be playing 2k so after you watch this video subscribe over there and check us out tonight all right i love all y'all appreciate y'all patience whoever is watching this first video back i appreciate you more than you know if you even came over and been supporting me over on twitch or on my other youtube youtube channel throughout this time know that you are appreciated beyond words all right we're back to the season i cannot wait for the season to kick off a lot of fun stuff in store i I'll see you guys in the next video. Let's get it. I'm out of here. Whew. Haven't done this in a while, but I think I did a pretty good job. Cold pizza. Tuesday. Tuesday. I got food up in the fridge. Y'all keep looking for that new wave.